Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, bienvenidos. We are doing a clothing haul today. I know you guys love when I do clothing hauls, so we're doing a pretty massive haul today. I have all kinds of clothes from Instagram clothing brands and boutiques like Fashion Nova, Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, and Miss Lola, which was previously known as Lola Shootique. They did recently change their name. And I'm gonna be trying everything on in this video. I have some things that worked for me and I have a few things that didn't work for me. So if you guys wanna see everything that I'm adding to my closet for kind of for like fall and winter, then just keep on watching. Okay, we'll start off with Miss Lola or Lola Shootique. I have this army green tight dress. I love the way that this fits. It's very flattering. The slit is pretty high up. I'm not gonna lie, it does have a slit right here, but it's so pretty on. And the belt here kind of enhances a little bit of the waist and makes it a lot more slim. It doesn't fit too tight and it's not uncomfortable or anything, but it does have kind of a denim-ish feel to it. It's very pretty on. I love it. I can't wait to wear this. I also have another dress. This is a white kind of sheer-ish lightweight dress. You will have to wear a slip under this because it is a little bit see-through and it does wrap around your waist as well. But what I found kind of strange is that this right here is really long. When you Even when you wrap it around your waist twice, it's kind of long, but I like the way that it looks. It's a very summery dress that you can transition into fall with a cardigan on top of it. You can wear it with heels, you can wear it with sandals. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of these kind of dresses too, like with the ruffles on the sleeves. Sorry, I'm looking this way because I have the viewfinder over here. But it has ruffles on the sleeve and then it has ruffles here on the bottom as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a two-piece that I kind of struggled putting on. I couldn't figure out the top. It's kind of hard to show you how it looks here, but you guys will see me try it on. So the top is like a V-neck and you, but not a V-neck, like a halter top V-neck. And then you tie it up here. The strings are again, really, really long. And then it has these little ruffles, but I don't, I don't know if I need boobs for this. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't look right on me. And it's kind of hard to put on. This has potential to be cute if you can figure out how to put it on. This would look really cute, especially in the summertime. I got these pants that I really like. I like how they're cut. They're cut above the ankle, which I don't really like pants like that honestly because I do have long legs like I said and my ankles are pretty skinny and with certain shoes or pants they just it just it's not look flattering at least not for me my preference but these do look nice on they are a thicker material and they're high-waisted you tie them at the waist and they have the paper bag look to them at the top too you can wear these to like work if you want with some pumps or you can wear it for a night out i've been on the hunt for pants like this in white but not so thick more flowy i've been kind of struggling on finding some i think i saw some on pretty little thing but anyway i'm gonna check that out but these are really nice they're very flattering and you can wear them so many different ways this top right here and then the two piece the white one i just showed you guys it's kind of like india maria no i don't know if it's just me but that's kind of like the feel i get with them so you can tie this as well up here and it has the ruffles at the waistline. It is more of a crop top, which again, I don't usually go for, but we're trying to change things up here, okay? I like the neckline too. It's not a V-neck, it just like swoops right down. This right here with some high-waisted pants or even with a skirt. And I love me some white tops. I'm always wearing white tops. And we have this one, which is very different for me, out of my comfort zone, not really something that I would typically wear, but they sent me this top and it's like a snake skin top. It is a crop top and it ties up here at like the boobage area at the chest. I don't know how I would rock this. If you guys know or have any ideas, maybe with some cargo pants, I do wanna challenge myself to kind of try wearing different things and see if I can rock them. In different ways but this one I'm forgetting to tell you guys the sizes everything that I have is in a size small yeah so far everything I've gotten is in a size small including this one here but like I said if you guys know ooh, if you guys know of uh, how I should rock this how would you guys rock this let me know let me know 
these are just some simple oh we're moving on to a pretty little thing by the way these are just some simple biker shorts these are totally a trend right now and they have been for a while now they're very comfortable i already have a lot of these in different colors and styles but i don't have them in this cream color and i originally got these because i wanted them to match with a jacket that i got from pretty little thing they both said that, that they were the color cream but they're not this one is cream and then the sweater that i got is white but i'll still you know be able to wear these with other things they're a great material they are pretty see-through though but if you wear like a loose baggy tee, you'll be fine. You might not want to wear these with like a bodysuit unless that's the look you're trying to go for. If you want it to be kind of sheer and see-through. These jeans were definitely a no for me. They just didn't fit the way I was hoping. They're not comfortable at all. They don't stretch. They don't. Once you put them on, you're just there. You're stiff. You can't move. And it's not even the sizing because if I were to go a size up, they would be super baggy. I don't know. They're just not, they're not nice jeans. I don't like them. They look okay on, but they're very uncomfortable. They have zero stretch to them. And I just don't think they're flattering on my body type. I've been trying to find a good pair of jeans that are the perfect wash, first of all, and that they're slimmer at the waist and a little bigger from the butt area because i have a smaller waist and a bigger butt like it is what it is even you know on fashion nova i've tried looking and i just the fit is right but the wash isn't like the wash i don't like the way that some of the wash of the jeans are but these i'm gonna have to return them or give them away or sell them or something these shorts i got them mainly to wear to chill in the house they're very sheer as well, but they're comfortable, they're thin, they're lightweight. You can even wear these out with, again, a loose t-shirt or something, but I mainly wanted to wear these around the house. I don't have cute PJs, so I wanted to get more pieces like this that I can just wear in the house, but they still are comfortable and they look, you know, decent. Not that I'm trying to be cute to bed or anything, but sometimes, I mean, sometimes you do want to be a little bit cuter to bed and not looking all you know raggedy and stuff <laughs> um yeah they're just a plain pair of beige shorts i love me my neutrals and here's another neutral piece here these are some sweats jogger kind of pants i was gonna say things they have a zipper at the bottom but these fit also a little weird that's kind of a trend with things that i got they fit good from the mid thigh down but from the waist they're too baggy but i do like these for the fall i love wearing joggers and things like that for fall and winter and i don't have a pair of neutral beige joggers so i wanted to kind of get my hands on some like this this is a jacket i was saying that on the website it said it was cream but it's it's a white jacket and i did wear this on my instagram recently a few of you asked me where it was from and it is from pretty little thing it's a cropped jacket with a zipper at the front and then it has a little hem or i don't know what to call this and right now these are very trendy these jackets right here and they did have them in different colors i just liked the one in white slash cream and this top right here is really cute for a night out it's a halter it shows your back which if you don't like to show a lot of skin if you don't like to show cleavage or if you don't like to wear really tight clothes or whatever but you still want to look very feminine and sexy things like that then wearing something that shows your shoulders and your back is always really flattering and this is one of those things so on the back you can see it shows all your back and then in the front you're fully covered literally from the neck down but it's still a very sexy piece i guess you can say we're moving on to boohoo now and i got another pair of biker shorts kind of similar to the other ones they're a little see-through but again you can wear them with the t-shirt bodysuit etc depending on what look you're trying to go for i like these just to be lounging but i would wear these on a night out i would wear this with a black long sleeve bodysuit or find a bodysuit that also has two stripes like this and wear it like that with some boots or with some pumps i'm here for it not sure how long the trend will be here for but like i said i'm here for it and these three are all sweaters i feel like i'm gonna stock up on these every single fall or at the end of summer because 
I really love these. They're very inexpensive. I want to say they're like 20 bucks or even cheaper than that. I had it in white. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this so many different times. Every single time that I wear this sweater, I would get questions on where it's from and it is, like I said, from Boohoo. I get it in small medium. This is the cream color, but this time around I also got it in a black because I don't know what it is. Whenever fall comes around, I can never find a simple, plain black sweater like this. And this one is like exactly what I've been looking for. So again, in a small medium. And then I also got it in this color, which is camel. But I would definitely try these out if you love very warm sweaters like this. They are knitted. They're a little bit, um, I don't want to say stiff, but you have to wear them a little bit to really let them start to get loose, baggy, and flowy, and wash them a few times and all that good stuff. These, I don't know how I'm going to wear them yet, but a pair of leather pants, leather leggings are kind of a staple for fall and winter, right? And I don't really own a pair this fall i i wanted to give them a try so these are from oh these are from fashion nova we're moving on to fashion nova in a size medium i got these in a size small and i had to exchange them they look a lot more leathery and plasticky on camera but they're really not like this in person they're a tiny bit high-waisted which is good because if you have a little like lower tummy bloating going on then this will kind of like suck you in a little bit once again if y'all know how i can rock this i've tried looking on pinterest and stuff how to rock some leather like pants but i don't know we'll see we'll see this is also from fashion nova and i did get this one in a small it's kind of like a button down but the buttons you can't actually undo them it's just like that it's off the shoulder but you can wear it just on the shoulder if you don't want to show and it goes all the way down to the ankle I do scrunch them up a little bit because I don't like sucking in my ankles too much like I told you guys but this is that ribbed material then another bodysuit or one piece that I got I also want to get this in another color I want to get it in the black with the white stripes and it's completely sold out so I'm gonna keep checking in. I have my notification on for when it comes back in stock. I would recommend wearing some shorts, like some slip shorts underneath because it is see-through or you, I mean, you can just wear nothing underneath if you want. Again, something you can wear for lounging or you can wear it to be out and about with sneakers, heels, etc. I love getting things that you can wear in many different ways. You can wear them for a casual look or you can wear them to go out. It all just depends on how you accessorize them and what shoes you wear and stuff like that. And I got some jeans from Fashion Nova. I was just saying how some of the jeans, I don't like the wash of them. These, I like the wash of them, but the fit is nice. I just wish they were a little more high-waisted and a little more snatch at the waist. This is what they look like and the wash looks very blue on camera but it is not this blue in person. It's a very light light blue. They're a size 3. I could go up to a size 5 for a more comfortable feel around the butt and the legs and the thighs but uh, for the waist I think a 5 is going to be too big. That's kind of like my thing. They're stretchy. I can move in these. I can eat, breathe, function in these jeans. Not like the ones from Pretty, Pretty Little Thing. I just would not be able to even breathe in those. But these are very comfortable and they look really nice as well. So that's always a plus. And I got some t-shirts. I feel like I'm all over the place. This one is from Boohoo. I don't know how I ended up getting it in this pile. But it's in a size medium because I like my t-shirts to fit me a lot more baggy. And this one says ballin. I envisioned myself wearing this with some high-waisted Levi's shorts and some boots that I got. I wasn't going to put in this haul, but I guess I'll show you. They're those sock booties. So I was planning on wearing this with a pair of shorts and those kind of boots but that's what it looks like they also had this one in white with red writing but i liked the black and this is from fashion nova it's a jacket i saw it and i just had to have it i've i don't think i've ever had a jacket like this except for when i was in track and field in high school i had a jacket that was black like this and it, it was adidas so it had stripes and then on the back it has my last name i have it in my closet but anyway i wanted one that didn't have my last name on the back and that was similar so this one has these three stripes on the side and it has the three on the back as well 
and it's lightweight, but it'll keep you warm, especially if you wear a hoodie underneath, because the material inside is also that windbreaker material, very breathable, but it'll keep you warm and perfect for any rainy days. Whew. Okay, those were all of the clothing items. Now we have shoes. These are all shoes from Miss Lola. They did send these to me as well as the clothing that I showed you from them. Everything else I did purchase. I think I'm going to show you some photos or videos. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I at least want to show them on camera, the styles and everything. I did get to pick some of these styles and then some of them they just sent them to see, you know, hey, you might like these styles as well. So I love all the shoes that they sent. I got these ones, which I'm so obsessed with. I still like I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna wear them but they're so nice on I would go what size did I get these I think I got eight and a half I would go a size up I'm usually a size eight in regular shoes but in heels I always have to go half a size or a full size up I kind of struggle with finding shoes that are a true nude to my skin tone the a nude is not you know a universal color there are different kinds of nudes and for me whenever I get a pair of nude heels a lot of times they're kind of like this nude and this isn't really nude on my skin tone you know what I mean so these are more of a taupe but they match a little better with my skin tone they look amazing on I just I know I'm gonna be wearing these a ton for fall especially because of the color I also chose them in a size no in the color black they're a little different look at the front here it's more squared whereas these are more round at the top but they both fit really nicely I like the way that they both look I never really noticed the difference there but I love the black ones too with an all black outfit or with jeans like these are just so nice they're very simple shoes they just have a strap here a strap at your toe they're simple but they're so dressy and so classy I feel I also fell into the clear glass slipper style shoes and these I freaking love these too the taupe color again they have them in a nude which I also got sent these I don't think I picked them out but I think they just sent these on the side so these are more of that nude that a lot of the shoes come in but these are more of a taupe and you can see the difference there they're actually comfortable the only thing is your feet are going to get sweaty in these almost right away instantly they start to fog up at the front but they just look so nice I've already tried these on with different bottoms to see how they would look and like I said they did send them in that lighter nude color these are both in 8.5 and they fit good I wouldn't go up to a size 9 with these they're a little higher up here so they're a little more comfortable and I think the heel is a little bit lower as well but that's mainly the difference there these are a little more like Cinderella glass slippers where the other ones are more of a sexy night out kind of glass slipper look you can see the difference like the heel on this one is a little bit lower and the plastic is a lot higher I think these are a tiny bit more flattering and they do have these in the lighter beige color this one's slightly a different style these are some that they sent me to see if I would like the style and they are cute and they lace up as well they're very simple shoes but I love simple shoes like this because you can wear them with a lot of different things too the heel on this one is very skinny like very very skinny so that kind of scares me but I do like the style so I think that kind of compromises for that I'll just quickly show you the booties I was talking about I don't think I did a try on part for this for these right here but they're cute I just wish they didn't have this line and there's some sock booties that literally feel like a ribbed sock these don't feel like that they're a little loose at the top which kind of I was I was hoping they weren't but it's just again my calves and my ankles are just skinny and there's just no way around it I just have to find a style that is actually tight from the top to the bottom but they'll they'll do for the look that I'm trying to go for with that outfit that I was talking about that's everything that I got and that they sent from all those different stores. I hope this video wasn't too lengthy and chatty, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I know you guys love when I do videos like this. So I might have a few coming up as well. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video.